it's me, OG Duffy. And we are back with a great unboxing. This big box here. Now, a big shout out to Hudderson. Now, those that don't know, Hudderson's channel is all about flight sims, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys watching come here for the game hunt videos for me unboxings and, and seeing what pickups and that I've had or what retro games I'm playing. But trust me when I tell you this now, Hudderson's channel is a real joy because it's, it's all based on flight sims and... Um, and it just, it's really relaxing. He does live streams and that where loads of people jump on and they're all flying together and stuff. Perfect. I'll go check it out. Anyway, he contacted me, Mr. Hudderson, and he said, Rob, because he watches the channel and he enjoys it, and he said, uh, I found this in the corner of my room. He says, it's been sat there for a long, long time. He said, it just never gets any use. He said, so I thought, would you be interested? He told me a price, and I said, wow, that was a great price for what this is. And I said, uh, yeah, I'll have it, mate, definitely. But I, I didn't pay him the price you wanted. No, I, I added some on. I won't say what I paid because um, I still got a bargain with even adding cash on, trust me. But I think what was really nice, I think Hudson just didn't want the hassle of eBay and it and all that sort of stuff. So he just come to me because he knows I'd appreciate it. So for that, Hudson, I thank you very, very much indeed. So without further ado, this is an absolute hefty, hefty box, all right? I haven't unboxed it yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to what's inside. I know, I know what it is. It's a ZX Spectrum, guys, with uh, accessories and things and, and games and what have you. So we'll get it unboxed and we'll see what we got. But first, Fardus and you, sir, I'm gonna have a beer for you. So let's go grab a beer. Now it's a beautiful day today, lovely and warm out there, and in the game room it's particularly warm too, which is a good thing, it's nice. Uh, so I'm having a nice ice cold cider today, Hudson. This is for you, my friend. So, beautiful, ice cold, Magnus. Um, I had the inchy cider recently, really enjoyed that. But as you can see, there is the box there, look at the size of it. Honestly, it's a big old box, so I'm really looking forward to getting this unboxed, and to be honest, I've had it for over a week. It arrived over a week ago, uh, but because I wanted to do an opening of it and, and, and being uncovering its contents as, uh, with you guys as much with myself, really, so a shared experience. So without further ado, Hudson, a massive thank you. Can't thank you enough. Let's go crack this open, shall we, and see uh, what goodies we got from them 8-bit retro days. My God, what a time to be alive that was, eh? Oh, that's lovely and cold. Let's go. So this is the box, guys. I've got a knife. Um, very well packaged, um, Hudson. Let's get in one end. And hopefully that'll lift everything out like, you know. But, oh, ZX Spectrum, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm getting excited because I just peeped in. <laughs> Mate, I live for this stuff. <laughs> wow. Honestly, oh, I'm not going to spin that around. It's got my address on it. Yeah, I don't you guys just turning up at my door. Hey Rob, how are you, man? <laughs> well, don't no, let me know if you want to come around and visit one day. Right, okay. So we will now get amongst this box. We'll see what goodies we got. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So as always, I'm going to take the stuff out, stack it up over there, and let's see what we got. So I'm going to take this very first thing here. Okay. This is big. This is heavy. Uh, this is Logic Free Learn Computing Series, Learn Basic Programming on, yes, the classic, the one, the only, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Basic Programming. Logic Free. Oh, honestly, so many independent guys and everything back then, weren't they? Learn Basic Programming. Big old book there. And look, a poster in there and stuff and uh, some tapes uh, and like a ruler type thing quite what that's for I really do not know this is lovely condition Addison wow do you remember that all that old programming years ago I used to buy the old CMVG magazines and things like that I used to sit there typing the code in uh, to get a game only for it to come up with a runtime error or whatever at the end oh, it, was a, it was a ball like that really really was but anyway that's the start I'll put that one over there uh, right, okay, what we got here? Oh, he's individually wrapped all the games. This here, I'm assuming, I should never assume, <laughs> but I am. Is this a power supply, Hudson? I'm gonna guess this is a power supply. I'll put my blade back. I should've kept it out, really, shouldn't I? Might need to have to get that in a minute. Anyway, I'm guessing this is a power supply, he says. So let's look here. 
Yeah, that's a little power supply. Okay. Nothing too exciting there. But hey, you need a power supply to get the thing to work. Right, what we got next? Oh. We know what this is, don't we? This is the Spectrum itself. It's got to be, innit? I tell you what, I'm going to get that blade, mate. We'll be here all day. Marco Blade. Back with a blade. Yes, just what we need. It's going to make light work of this. There we go. Nice bit of bubble wrap here. Well packed, Hudson, my friend. Very well packed. I tell you, what, I'm looking forward to getting to the games, to be honest. That's the, that's the most exciting part for me. See what titles we've got in here. Blimey, there's some wrap here. Right, okay, there it is. The Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Look at that. What a machine these were, eh? Right? Them old rubber keys. Oh, I bet this could tell a detail or two in terms of gaming. Oh, it's like a big joypad now, isn't it? I suppose if you had one now. Oh, wow. Awesome. Memories just come flooding back, mate, when I see these. They really, really do. Let's put that over there. Um, another cable there. Uh, it's a power supply and an RF out cable. And I'm assuming it looks like an audio cable for a tape deck. Right. Oh, right. A couple of... Well, these, I can't remember if these are games or not. Come on, guys. Who remembers these back in the day? These used to come bundled with the original sort of package, didn't they? Survival. Discover what it's like to be an animal in the wild. Choose to be a lion, stalk your prey, and escaping human hunters will make a chip. Teaches you the basic elements of circuit design. Mate, they are old school. They are proper old school, my friend. Right, here we go. That rattle means only one thing, guys. Yes, you know it. Tapes and tapes are games, which is the exciting stuff for me. Oh, let's get these open. Let's get these open. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Great bit of packaging. Right, okay. Now, kids, this is how we used to have to play games back in the day. We'd have to put them in a tape recorder and go from there. Right, an Imagine game for any 48K Sinclair Spectrum. I can't quite see, is that Zoom? Right, now, obviously, looking at that, I would say that is Zoom. Yes, it's Z, 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 Z Zoom. Um, what sort of game was that? It's one I don't remember. I'm guessing, as you climb it and you're gleaming, all oh, right, it's a plane game. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Haddison loves his flight sims. Even back then, he was, he was loving his flight stuff. Oh, that's just amazing. What else we got here? Let's grab these here. We've got a few here. Oh, start making our way through these. Okay, next one. Oh, this is an old title. Mega Run. Mega Run by Omega Software, that one. Or Omega Run, sorry. Omega Run, yeah. For the Zenith Spectrum, CRL. I mean, there was loads of little independent companies, weren't there, back then? So there's that one there. Don't, I don't remember that one at all. That was a new one on me. Oh, I know this one. Checkered Frag. Checkered Frag. Uh, Cyan Software, that one. Yeah, 48K round, that one. Uh, what's this one here? Gold Rush. Fantasy, Fear and Fortune. Wow, look at the cover on that. Fawn EMI video. Fawn EMI. Wow, there are some real old classics here that I'm, I'm unaware of, mate. Gold Rush. I tell you, I might have to do a few reviews of some of these individual titles, you know. Wow. I don't remember that. A Bug Bite Software. I remember Bug Bite Software, but I do not remember this game. That one there. The Castle. These look like sort of a, a lot of sort of D&D &D, uh, adventure type games, you know what I mean? Bug Bite Software. What other games did Bug Bite Software have in the day? Hey, we may have a a few here. But this is this is what the, where the fun is for me. It's the games, mate. It's the games. These are just amazing. Oh, right. Let's go to the next batch. Oh. Right. Oh, I recognise the front cover on this one. I remember how I owned that one back in the day. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, okay, right. This here, Soft Aid, Soft Aid. This, right, was bought out by the guys that did, um, it was to raise money for the charity for, you know, Do They Know It's Christmas, the, the number one single, which was Live Aid. And this was Soft Aid, that is in software. This come with, this is a compilation, and I think software companies donated their games to it. There was loads on here. Yeah, let me just read you a couple of the titles on there. Spellbound, Starbike, Ant Attack. I loved Ant Attack. 3D Tank Jewel, Jack and the Beanstalk, Sorcery. Loads of them on there. Cockatoni Wilf, 
Horace goes skiing. <laughs> hey, there's loads on there. I'll be honest. These are worthy of, of their own videos, some of these titles alone. So anyway, Soft Aid, that's going there. Brilliant. Next one. Oh, it's a little hologram sticker on this one. Elite Software, The Fall Guy. The Fall Guy. Remember that Lee Majors TV show, wasn't it? Yeah, 20th Century Fox. Wow. Oh, Huddleston, you have just taken me right back, mate. Oh, that is... The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Oh, I had this book as a child, mate. Well, I wasn't a child. I was probably sort of 12, 13, maybe. And it was it was amazing. All them fighting fantasy books were just brilliant, you know? But this was the one that kicked them all off. And that artwork there, just that's just taking me right back, mate. Oh, that is... Uh... That is, that's amazeballs, mate. Steve Jackson in Livingston. Oh, mate. Like I say, these are, these are due. So many reviews just off their own back. They really, really are. If that's something you'd like to see, drop it in the comments, guys. Would you like to see, do some individual reviews of some of these really old school games? I do like, I used to do, I'll compare them to the original magazine reviews and see how they held up. Trash Man, Trash Man. Never played it, but remember in hearing a lot about it. Checkered Flag. Checkered flag, is that another one of those? Is that double up on that? Might even have a copy of that down there already, you know. Oh, next lot. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is this is memory lane at its best, isn't it? Oh dear. Now if you don't know kids, like I say, we used to have to load these games on cassettes. We couldn't just slot a cartridge and all put a CD in like you do now. Oh mate, and you'd have to wait for it to load. And it'd make that horrible buzzy noise, you know. And then sometimes it'd get all the way, sort of four or five minutes you'd be waiting, and then it'd crash, you'd have to start all over again. All the pains we went through, but I'll tell you what, it built patience in us, guys. It really, really did. My God, excuse me, but it's warming up in here massively. They get more classic than that, do they? Horace goes skiing. I've already got two copies of this down there. Mate, I'm gonna have to start sorting some of these extras I've got out, mate. Oh, I'm loving this. What's this one here? Silkworm, ah, Mastertronic Plus. Now, Mastertronic was like a budget label. They used to buy the rights to the games, after, I believe, after they'd been uh, on full release at a later date, and then they'd release them for one ninety nine. You used to be able to buy these in sort of corner shops and everything like that, do you remember? Ah, oh, wait, what a top. Don't really need to say a lot about that one, do I? I mean, that is just classic. That's probably one of the, the most known titles on the spectrum, isn't it? Jet Set Willy, the original Jet Set Willy. Oh, look at that. These are just a thing of beauty, aren't they? These are just a thing of beauty. They really, really are. Um, Sinclair ZX81 programs for the 16K. This was by WH Smith. History 1 events, general loading, and monarchs. Oh, look at that. That takes me right back as well. Because this is when they, they, we used to fool our parents into buying these home computers because we were saying they're all educational. That, come on, W.H. Smith's own range of software. Good God, mate. This is history right here, guys, honestly. And Hardison, why am I not surprised? <laughs> Flight Simulator, of course you did. This is, for those that have seen the Hardison channel and, and, and love the, the way that I do, it's very relaxing, it's really relaxing, great chill channel. Flight Simulator, this is where it all started for Hardison, guys. Right there, my friends, oh yes. Mate, I will be saying some screenshots and stuff, so I will try and definitely get some uh, some footage up of Flight Sim, just for Huddersfield to take him right back, back to the day. Oh yeah, that one was nice and easy to open. Another stack of games here. Oh, I have to say, he's, he's wrapping his second to none here. I'm looking at, there's, there's lots here guys, there's lots. I'm sorry if this is dragging on, but hey, it's up to you. I might do two parts, I'll just do it in one and come back and watch the other half if you get, uh, you know, you've got things to do in that. Battle Valley, Battle Valley, Houston Software, Houston. Remember Houston? I don't know, remember, that, remember that game though. Battle Valley, wow. What's this one here? Test match, I mean look at the artwork on that. That is proper old school. This is how we used to get our games, guys. They don't be stacked up on shelves like that, you know? And we used to go along and sort of pick which one. And Oh, and it was the artwork that used to sell the game, wasn't it, back then, you know? Right, next one. Oh, what's this one? This looks like a pinball. Oh, the pinball construction kit. PSS software, pinball construction kit, that one. Wow. 
But again, that's what I say. Look at the artwork. It's the artwork that used to sell these tiles. We used to go along and go, oh, wow, that looked good. You know? Is that gulp? Gulp. Another new one on me, that one. Don't remember that one. Gulp. Okay. What was this one here? Bug Bite. Another Bug Bite game. And this one is Rapscallion. Rapscallion. Again, not sure on that one. Oh, this one, right? A ZX81 game. Look at this. Look at that. That is proper, proper old school ZX81. But you know what? You needed the 16K RAM pack to play Night Gun. Oh, yes, you did. Look at that. Oh, this is just... This is just... 1982, that one. Blimey. So it's about 82, 92. Oh, mate. Oh, these are just... This is just madness, mate. Oh. This, this doesn't feel like a, a pile of games. Let's wrap this one in paper. And it's the official ZX Spectrum power supply. There it goes, the official power supply. Awesome stuff. We won't undo that just yet. What have we got there? Oh, have a bit of wrapping that I've done. Oh, well, we've got some more games hanging out at the bottom of the box there in the classic big box. Two copies of that Scrabble. Computer Scrabble from Scion Software. Like I say, uh, the Spectrum, they did a big old package and you get loads of them sort of big box games like that, you know? Right, so what we've got left here now. Oh, still quite a few games, guys. I'm going to go and demop and I'm going to go and grab beer. Cooled down a bit now. Round two. These are just awesome, aren't they? Right, okay, here we go. Next one. <laughs> Can I have a pee, please, Bob? <laughs> Blockbusters. Uh, £7.95, that one back in the day. Bob Holness, <laughs> what a guy he was. A ZX81 game here. Uh, Mazox, 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 but obviously no E in it. So. But anyway, I do think, I, I recollect playing that one. I swear I had that as a child. Uh, so oh, ZX81, which was a family computer back then. You spend hours typing that code in, mate, only for it to be knocked the RAM pack and <laughs> you'd lose a lot. Uh, punchy, uh, now this, these covers, there's a few like this. Now, am I right in saying, is this similar to what was, how it was, they were packaged by CPC titles or something like that? Anyway, let me know what you think. Mr. Micro Limited. Uh, Punchy, so there's that one. Uh, Disco Dan, again, similar format, Disco Dan. Okay, Brentwood House, Kings Road, Brentwood in Essex, this company were based. Uh, Treasure Island, which I'm guessing, would these have been packaged uh, as a new Sinclair ZX Spectrum package or something? Games package? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know. You know. Next one. Again, Kuma Computers, this one. Uh, Alien Destroyer. But again, from Sinclair. So I'm guessing these were packaged with, with a new, new um, Spectrum at the time. And the last one of them, for this batch anyway, Crazy Golf. Crazy Golf. Okay. But then there's this, right? My God. This ties into that massively. 3D Star Strike. If you know, you know. Star Wars was such an amazing arcade game for the time. And this company come along and did this 3D Star Strike. And basically they did a complete copy of that pretty much. Uh, a few dis uh, differences. But this was amazing. And this was only on the ZX Spectrum. 48k, but my god, there it is. I'm showing you some footage of that. That was an amazing, amazing, amazing game. Oh, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there, making our way through. Whew. Still thought, still more to go, still more to go. This is great. Anyway, as I say, do let me know in the comments. Would you like to see individual reviews of some of these titles where I where I reminisce and look back at the original um, magazine reviews for the ones that I can find, of course, and uh, compare and see how they hold up today. Because let's be honest, we have great fond memories of these games, but it's been years since we've played any of them, so they probably won't hold up how we quite remember them. But anyway, another uh, Fawn EMI home computer or home video system there. There you go, look at that one. What's that one? Road Racer, Road Racer. I mean, that logo there, that Fawn EMI logo right in the corner. I can remember going to my local Warworths in Tooting in, um, in London. And uh, they used to, they were the first place you could buy videotapes. I mean, they had full EMI videotapes. And that, that, but they were silly money. I mean, you weren't wanting to buy one. You were looking for sort of 50, 60 quid for a single tape back then. Because uh, obviously you all hired them. You couldn't afford to buy them. Uh, and then there's this Robot Messiah. 
know nothing about that one at all, but some really, really interesting titles here. Graphic there, don't look too bad, that one. Uh, again, what company is that one? Alpha, Alpha Betting, or Alpha Beating, Alpha Beating. Uh, Subterranean Striker. Again, it's the artwork on these things, mate. This is what sold it, didn't it? And this next one, this next one, I remember this. I did have this, and it's Feud. F E U D, Feud. Now, this was, um, you were two wizards, I think, and you were or warlocks or whatever, and you would go around, you had to collect ingredients and things, and, and battle the other wizard or, or beat the other wizard, too. I can't quite remember. But graphically, this is a pretty good little game. Oh, we are. Uh, to win the ancient feud, you must outspell the, your rival wizard, Leonoric. Leonoric. And of course, the Horizons uh, software starter pack. What this did, I have no idea. It come bundled with the ZX Spectrum. What does it do? An introductory software cassette for the ZX Spectrum includes a comprehensive keyboard, trainer, and entertaining, illuminating range of programs. I never put that into my Spectrum, so I have no idea what was on that back in the day. Oh, we'll just go out to the back bottom here. Right, this is the tape recorder. He's included his tape recorder in this for me to load the software, of course. Oh, it's a Sanyo one. Mate, he's so well packaged, this stuff, Addison. You are a top man, my friend. Ah. Oh, boy. Get in there. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Now, do you remember with these tape recorders, right, back in the day, you used to plug them in. I mean, you've got mode here, we've got DC here, right, 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 your volume. Now, what was nice about the volume there, it wasn't quite a full volume. It's probably about eight if it had a number. I just slid it. So even back then, you never put a load of games at full volume, did we? And you got you had your, your little counter there as well. So on your tapes, you could you know on go to 30, and that's where you'd have another game on the dit on the tape, etc. And some had tone as well, and you had to have to mess them mess about and all the tone and all that. But a Sanyo tape deck there, happy days. That would be great for the uh, for the loading of these softwares. Right, we've got a few more games, guys, but in the bottom here. It's included some manuals, the ZX81 programming manual, which come packaged with the ZX81, of course. Uh, there's the ZX Spectrum one. Uh, there's a ZX Spectrum introduction. There's another ZX Spectrum basic computing one. And there's another introduction. So you've got a couple of them guys uh, knocking around there. Right, we've got two more lots of tapes to undo. And then we are done. <laughs> This has been brilliant, Hudson. I can't thank you enough. I really can't. This is amazing. It takes me right back some of these, I'll tell you. These are proper old school uh, Spectrum games, you know. All oh, right, now look at this, right? Full screen, breakout, games tape, breakout for the ZX81. Right, now what's shocking about this? This was for a 1K ZX81. 1K, guys. What was, what, how much? Oh, look at that. So breakout, full screen. I mean, just look at look at the look at the cover on that. That's how our games used to come, kids. Really, <laughs> mate. Back in the day, you used to buy a lot of them through magazines. Don't you remember? See them just listed, and it was just names. So it was just gamble. Another bug bite one. Star Trader, Star Trader. That sounds interesting. Eat, live, trade, and barter with aliens from different galaxies with your goods and return for the gauntlet of space pirates. You are a sole trader, can you survive? So that sounds just like Elite. <laughs> now, was this out before or after Elite? That is the question. This was 1984. When was Elite? Was that 84? So that was either Bug Bites trying to rip off Elite or did Elite look at that form and think, oh no, we could make our own go from that. Which come first? Tell me in the comments, guys. Uh, on the Oki, hey, hey, bit of darts. ZX Spectrum 48K, ACS114, which company was that? Artac, Arctic, oh sorry, Arctic. I remember Arctic computing. I must have had some of their games back in the day. Another Horizons cassette there, another one of the Horizons cassettes. And this, right, a C15 computer cassette. Now back in the day, you used to be able to go and buy blank tapes that were literally just that size. They were like 15, 15 minutes. Now there's two games on here. One, boxing. Would that be Frank Bruno's boxing? Uh, and Manic Miner. And there you go, look. 
And obviously you taped over a few of them as well in the day, Harrison. We all had these, didn't we? We used to get borrow our mates' games. And uh, if you were, ha were lucky enough to have a tape to date player back in the day, my God, you were very popular at school. Let's just put it that way. Right, okay, it's the last ones now. The last batch. Oh, there have been some brilliant games here. There really are. Right, honestly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's get to it. Loads, loads, loads. Big little stacks off the finish. Oh, look at that. Now, that is proper old school. That is how a cottage industry began, people. Independent software houses used to produce their own games, and that was their covers. Look, I mean, look at that. Video Software Limited. Test match for the Sinclair ZX81. Wow. That is... Let's uh, take a look at that. Look at that. That's, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm going to... A bit of closer inspection for you guys, look. Okay, so there's the tape. There's a lot of tape on there. And there, look. Side A, look. You just get, you just get a little print out just like that. Someone could probably hand typed on a typewriter, you know what I mean? But that is how video game industry began here in the UK, back in the day. That's, we led the way, didn't we? The UK led the way for computer programming back in the day. We really did. Another Horizons cassette. Because you can never have enough Horizons, guys. Uh, a Sinclair ZX81, this one. Program 16K. Oh, fun to learn series. Again, what we said about the education series. Because our parents used to think they were great educational tools, computers. But let's be honest. Those that learned programming back in the day on these things, they were ahead of their game, weren't they? So this one here, what was this? Modern Authors, English 2, and Poets and Playwrights. Oh, yes. Oh, another old school here. CDS Microsystem 16K ZX81 Brick Stop. That one, CDS made in England. Of course it was. And there it is, a professionally printed one, this one. And there, there's your instructions for the whole thing there, look. Load dash dash, where? Right? Oh. Brick stop, load time. One minute, 25 seconds load time on that ZX81 classic, which is brick stop. Hey, that's so old. So, so old. Now, this one's a weird one, look. Oh, it's a ZX81 game, right? I've just opened it up, and you can see inside, it is Phoenix. Phoenix, that classic arcade game. And obviously, there's no cover. It's just this little insert here of the uh, the controls. Or is that? Oh, no, no. This is documentary for a microsystem uh, game. Castle Adventure. So there's a bit of a mix-up on that one. There's a mix-up on that one. But anyway, Phoenix on the ZX81. Another one of these here. Ah, oh, there's Castle Adventure's coming up. Oh, Mummy. Oh, Mummy. Again, it's that format. That on. Why am I thinking Amstrad CPC when I'm seeing these covers? Why am I thinking that? Did they, were, were they similar? And there's Castle Adventure, that one with that slip of paper. So, yeah. Program name, Castle, CDS Micro. And that's a Sinclair ZX81. You must have 16K RAM to play this one, though. No. Oh, yes. And that concludes, guys. Except for this now, there's the ZX Spectrum Plus. ZX Spectrum Plus. And that's the User Guide Companion Cassette. And that is everything. So a massive shout out and a massive thanks to Hudson for giving me this great package and first refusal on it, first dibs. Um, like I say, I didn't pay him the price he wanted. I paid him more because it, it would have been unfair to pay him the price he wanted, honestly. Uh, so thank you very much, Hudson. Now, if you've not checked out his channel, do so, because honestly, it's really relaxing. Uh, it's it's great, great flight sim. He reviews hardware and all that as well. All do flight sim and everything else. So go check it out. And also, guys, finally, from me to you, do you want to see some of these games reviewed back old, old school style like I used to? Probably a good year ago now, I did a few of them videos. I'll happy do some more for you though. If you want them, let me know. Anyway, Hudson, and you guys, this cider is for you. Thanks, Hudson. You've done me a real turn. Cheers, buddy.